I'm so excited in all my time at Expresso. I have not been able to do Omo of the Week. My grand was so special to me. I am really chuffed about being able to do this this morning, especially because we've got such a feel-good story to bring you. Now, we received a brilliant message all the way from London from four-year-old Ethan, four years old. He had the chutzpah to send us a message to nominate his grand from South Africa. His Omar is definitely an Omar of the Week potential. Oma Marie is one very loved granny by the sounds of things. She sends Ethan and his sister Hannah lots of texts, always has time to chat with them on Skype. She is a very attentive granny um, and she's now going to be spoiling her grandkids by bringing them out to South Africa, which I'm sure she is really excited about. But I think one person who must be over the moon is young Ethan Foxcroft. Ethan, very good morning. Or Ethan Hollandrake. Ethan, are you there, sir? Yes. Good morning, Ethan. Welcome from South Africa. How is London? How are you doing, sir? It's very cold. It's very cold. <laughs> it's very cold. It's very cold, Ethan. I can understand that. I wish we could give you some South African sunshine. Ethan, why do you love your granny so much? Because she's, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. Oh, that is so sweet. Are you excited to see your granny later this year? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. When are you coming out, Ethan? School holiday. I'm sure you are counting the seconds. Ethan, thank you so much for sending your message through. We really do agree with you. Your Omar is an Omar of the week, undoubtedly. Now, on the line, we have got that very special Omar. Marie Foxcroft, are you there? I'm here. Uh, congratulations. Good morning. Good morning. Good Ethan sounds like the most adorable grandchild. How are you feeling about your grandchildren this morning? Um, I am a proud granny and I love them to bits. Hannah is still too small, but <laughs> Ethan is so cute, you know. <laughs> Maria, it takes a lot for them to nominate you all the way from London. How do you feel about your grandkids loving you so much that they had to nominate you for Omar of the Week? Uh, I can't love them more than at this moment, you know. Um, it, it's so fantastic to be nominated Granny of the Week because I never thought that I was that special to them, but now I know I am a very special Granny and you... I thank them for that. Oh, well, we thank you for being such a special Omar in their lives and we're going to send you a lovely little Omar hamper just to make you feel even more special. Are you excited about having your grandkids out? When last did you see them in person? Um, I saw them when the little girl was born in April, but uh, the hubby didn't see the grandson for about three years oh. now and we can't wait to see them. Oh, well, I'm so, ex I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy that we've got cool Omars out there that are happy to use Skype and use the social media networks. Keep on texting your grandkids. Clearly, they are absolutely over the moon about you. And enjoy the time you get with them when they do come out. Thank you very, very much. And thank you very much to the people who sponsored this gift of Oma. Hubby and myself will enjoy it. Uh, so thank you, Ethan, from Granny and Grandpa Foxcroft. Oh, uh, we are sending <laughs> big love. love. Oh, there I you. love you more than you love me. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that is too cute. Ethan, thank you so much, son. You are a legend. Thank you for sending through your nomination for Omar of the Week. Marie Foxcroft, you are a deserved winner this week. Thank you so much. Oh, still more feel-good vibes to be coming out of the show this morning. We will see you in a sec. We're going to be getting back into the kitchen, making some very delicious Leamington squares by the sounds of things. Love your Omar, differ Omar. Omar of the Week is brought to you by Omar Rusks.